Low airway pressure alarm. The Gradient CCV requires healthcare providers to set a minimum airway pressure limit using the alarm settings panel located in the upper right hand corner of the front panel. The allowable range for the low pressure limit is from 5 to 20 centimeters of water. It is necessary to set the low pressure alarm on the CCV to ensure the patient receives adequate ventilation. If the patient's airway pressure does not exceed the low pressure limit set by the provider for more than 12 seconds, a low airway pressure alarm is triggered. The alarm will clear on its own as soon as the airway pressure rises above the limit set by the provider. Low airway pressure alarms can be caused by a number of issues, including uncuffed ETT or improper ventilation settings, such as a tidal volume that is too low. To ensure patient safety, it is always necessary to investigate the cause of the alarm, beginning at the patient end and working your way back to the machine, starting with the patient's airway, then moving to breathing circuit, drugs, and then finally examining the ventilator. It is best practice to have alternative means of ventilation on hand while investigating the cause of an alarm in the event the patient needs to be disconnected from the ventilator. Another common cause of low airway pressure alarm is a leak in the breathing circuit or patient's interface. To avoid a leak in the patient's circuit, always be sure to properly assemble the patient breathing circuit, paying extra attention to the alignment and secure placement of the clear valve cover onto the valve body. If this is improperly aligned or if the valve nut has not been screwed on tightly, it could cause a leak in the circuit and trigger a low airway pressure alarm.